Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Twisted Retreat unboxing. This one is the January box. If you've never heard of Twisted Retreat, it is a horror book box subscription. I do think that sometimes it may include some kind of thriller because I swear last month's had some type of a thriller seeming book. I don't know what is technically necessarily categorized as horror. So that's something that I'm still trying to figure out. This box is $52 a month, plus you do have to pay shipping. You are supposed to get a variety of items in here, a newly released book. Usually they're designed, but they did say they can't guarantee that every single time. You'll get a candle, a snack item, which could be a drink or food snack item, an artsy type item, which is probably like a really cool designed art print or bookmark. And then you'll get some novelty type items that will go with the theme, but will also be more usable. Could be houseware, could be kitchenware like just anything in that category. They do offer a book only subscription if you didn't care about any of the products that go with it for $27.99. I don't know if that one includes shipping or if you still have to pay shipping for that. It does seem a little much just for a book only, but as I mentioned, I think their books typically are going to be specifically designed. So they will be like limited edition types of those, a look of that book. And the January theme, which I did look it up on their website to see if we can have it match the theme, is supposed to be Elegant Maccabee. I honestly don't even know what that means. I honestly don't even get it. Like most of the stuff that I've seen come out of Twisted Retreat, I haven't been able to pinpoint to a specific theme. It's just been general horror, scary, spooky type items. I'm okay with that because I've still loved pretty much everything I've received in these boxes. It's a fun box to get, you know. I'm just gonna go ahead and move the box down since it's not specifically designed this month. Let's go through the little tiny inserts that are in here. Here is the product card. It does say that the February theme is supposed to be Deadly Visions. Let's see, we have our spoiler card here. Extra, extra, read all about it. Welcome to your January 2023 Twisted Retreat box. We hope you love everything inside. We're so excited to be seeking scarier books through this year, and we hope you will come along for the ride. This month, we have a gothic feature and items that are more gothic inspired. Make sure to tag us in your unboxings. And then the first thing that I'm seeing are these little stickers. Uh, potion bottle, <laughs> this adorable looking like skull candle, and this skull and coffee. Those are cute little stickers. These adorable stickers were designed by At Library for this box. They are really cute. The next thing is the tarot card, and this is something that they send in every box, and it will match the candle design. So whatever they pair with the tarot, you know that's what the candle's gonna be. The tarot card is Jane Eyre, which I find to be a surprising choice in a horror box because I wouldn't have thought that Jane Eyre would be horror. Cause I don't think Jane Eyre is a horror book, is it? So it's just an interesting choice. But that is the Twisted Retreat card this time. The world tarot represents a new phase in life or a pause before the next beginning. Jane Eyre is a gothic classic that is perfect for this representation. Okay, so maybe Jane Eyre is gothic? I didn't know that. What was the theme again? Elegant Maccabee, maybe that means gothic. And with the elegant part being in the theme, I can kind of see how Jane Eyre would be a part of this theme. The art print, which also has the letter from the author on the back, is also different. It just kind of looks like tools that you would use to kill somebody. Shears, a saw, and a scalpel. They all have completely different uses, but okay. <laughs> First item. Looks like one of those collapsible little tote thingies. Oh, this is a pretty good size. Where there is no imagination, there is no horror. So it has two different side sayings, and I guess you can style it on whichever side you want, which I like that they did that because if you weren't super into horror, but like you still liked some of it, you can style it on maybe the imagination side. It's actually turned out to be a pretty tall little tote thingy. Collapsible organizer. Use your horror-inspired classical organizer to store whatever your heart desires. Feel free to display it on shelves. Designed by At Library. Next, I see some spooky candy. Twisted Retreat. It really doesn't say much about it on the packaging at all, so I don't know where they got this candy from. The Twisted exclusive is Huckleberry Hard Candy. It's perfect to enjoy while reading this month's book. They are by Etsy from Chase Bros Confections. 
not something that I recognize, but I love that they're helping with small businesses and that's what they're sourcing their products from. I'm not gonna try one right now with it being a hard candy. It's not something I'll easily be able to chew. It's gonna be something you put in your mouth and leave there for a while. I don't know how I'm gonna like Huckleberry though. Like that's not a flavor that I'm very familiar with. Next item is a soap bar. Things have gotten worse since we last soaped. <laughs> I love the little puns. They're so cute. Personally, I didn't need another soap bar. I don't use a lot of soap bars like this, so I won't get much use out of it, but I do like the pun that they put on it. This exclusive soap bar is inspired by a horror tale of Eric LaRocco. This is a Dead Sea Mud Bar, which has many skin benefits. It is a Twisted exclusive by Bath Apothecary, okay. I mean, that kind of makes me want to try it with all of the skin benefits, even though I don't typically use soap bars in bar form anymore. Next item is the candle in our candle box. And as I said, it is going to be designed just like the tarot card, Jane Eyre candle. Um, the top lid does say, I am not an angel and I will not be one until I die. I will be myself. Uh, I do like that quote. That's the only really recognizable parts about these candles is what they put on their lid. Light this candle when one phase of your life is coming to an end to help guide you. It did not tell me the scent of this candle. I wish that they would put it on there. Seriously, because not everybody can smell. I mean, usually when I burn candles in my house, it's for the benefit of everybody else because I can hardly ever smell them. Unless it's a super sweet smell, then for some reason my nose is like, oh, I can smell that. Next we have a big box. I love it when we get big boxes or just any boxes, you know? It's like, what is inside? I don't know what's in here, but I am getting some smells, which is weird. This is a light. Okay, they send us a light bulb. They send us another light bulb. How funny. Oh. Oh. This is pretty cool. Wow. I see where you're supposed to put the light bulb. I like that they sent us two. One for now, one is a replacement. The cord has a little dial on it so you can have it be low or high. I think it's supposed to be a candle warmer. There's nothing that you put down here. The beautiful candle warmer can help melt the wax at the bottom of your candles or create a flameless candle experience. Okay. So this is the kind of candle warmer where you can't just put wax melts on it. Obviously it would have to be like a smaller type candle because you won't be able to fit anything much taller than this. And that way it'll help warm the bottom parts of your candle, which that's great because there's a lot of times you get towards the bottom or if it's a weirdly designed candle, I have a couple of those I've received in boxes before where it doesn't burn all the way out and then you're stuck with all this unused wax. So I do appreciate the thought behind this candle warmer and I think it's a really cool design. I mean, it's not something that I see very often and they sent us two little light bulbs. I think it's cool. Next item is a larger item. It is a spooky tablecloth. This beautiful tablecloth has a spooky design and a beautiful quote that is perfect for the Valentine's Day season. It was designed by Teapical Ghost. I can't see the um, design right now and I don't wanna unfold it all the way. I won't be able to see it until I go and, you know, take my picture for you guys to see on the screen. But the vibes of it does seem more gothic horror, like it would have to be a very specific event or specific time of the year that I had this tablecloth on my table. It's not something that I would use all year round. And now we've come to the book. This month we have The Taxidermist Lover, a novel by Polly Hall. The art print's making more sense now with the shears and the scalpel and the saw, yeah. I get it now. This one definitely has a darker color themed book. We have a person over here and I don't know if that's like smoke or what's coming off of it. And then there's a swan down here. Maybe that has something to do with the tail. The praise for the book, the menace increases slowly but relentlessly, permeating every corner and the twist plentiful but also well earned. Pile up resolving in a near perfect horror ending. A lyrical debut told with the confidence of a veteran. I love that it's another debut novel. Our last Twisted Retreat book was also a debut novelist. This one does have painted pages as well. You see the scalpel on the bottom, the saw in the middle, and then the top has the shears. 
so the same art print design is printed onto the actual pages so that's a nice way to bring it all together it does not have a special dust jacket but i will show you the book this is what the front cover looks like and the back cover has that same art print design and the inside when you first open it has just these red swirls all over it. A modern gothic tale of a woman obsessed with her lover's taxidermy creatures and haunted by her past. One stormy Christmas, Scarlet recalls the ebb and flow of a year-long love affair with Henry, a renowned taxidermist. Obsessed with his taxidermy creatures, she pushes him to outdo his colleague and world-famous rival in a crescendo of species-blending creativity. Scarlet will not be able to avoid a reckoning with her own past as Henry's inventions creep into her own thoughts, dreams, and desires. Drenched in the Torianal rains of the Somerset Moreland and the sensual pleasures of the characters, the taxidermist lover lures you deeper into Scarlet's delightful eerie world. This is another different take on a horror type genre that I was not expecting. The last one also had a different take that I was not expecting out of a horror book. That's what I'm liking about this box is that I'm seeing different styled books of what they consider horror, but not necessarily like the horror type movies you might see. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's all I can say is I don't know. You'll have to let me know your thoughts of the insert of this book to let me know what you thought of it. Were you just as surprised by it? It almost seems like part romance, part weird part maybe like creepy we'll have to see how it all goes together as a recap i do have this collapsible storage unit there's the art print the tarot card these spooky fun stickers the yummy candy while well, i'm hoping yummy the huckleberry candy soap bar candle which was also inspired by jane eyre just like the tarot card our nicely designed candle warmer then there is the very large tablecloth and then finally, the Taxidermist Lover book. Overall, I thought we got a nice selection of items. We got several usable items. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.